warranted. The DOJ does have a policy. There's no specific details, but you don't have trials like this before elections. Okay. Well, they're supposed to start one later this month. Uh, Do you expect a response? What do you plan to do? Here's what I know. The last time there was a big election interference endeavor, it was indeed the inspector general who revealed the text messages between the lovebirds struck and page and the little insurance policy they had. Well, Jack Smith right now is engaging in explicit election interference. He is the insurance policy, except now they're trying to ensure that the trial occurs before the election. If you look at the Amy Coney Barrett concurrence in the Colorado case, she makes specific note of the fact that this is all erupting during a political season. Just like the inspector general exposed the Russia hoax for election interference, now he ought to sink his teeth into Jack Smith. Let's find out the coordination that's occurred between the Department of Justice and all of these various and sundry efforts to pursue President Trump. And you know what's true about Jack Smith? He has totally given up the game. He's saying the quiet part out loud because every pleading, every filing, every strategy is directed to get this done before the election. This isn't about the facts and the law. This is about derailing a very productive and very successful presidential campaign of Donald Trump. That's not what the DOJ is supposed to do. Good thing we have an inspector general who's blown up election interference in the past and has the power and the obligation to take it up and do so again. It's good. I, I think it's a great approach you have. It's going to be interesting to see how they come down on this. It's interesting. This, these things all happened years ago. But they just magically schedule the trial in an election year and where Donald Trump would do better on appeal, that would be post-election. Because I don't think you can get a fair hearing in New York, a fair trial in New York, or a fair trial in D.C. for sure. Never mind Fulton County. All right, Matt Gates, thank you. We appreciate your time.